closing minute of the first half. Northeastern at uh, Shazy Modified Boys Basketball. We, I'd hope to be here on time, but uh, had other things going on our life in our life besides uh, basketball, so we weren't able to be here. But we're here now. Uh, we'll finish up this quarter and uh, this half, and come back immediately with the second half of this game, and we'll have the rosters and all that good stuff. At the moment, it's 16 to 5 or 6 here. Can't quite tell with that backboard in the way. And that'll be the half. Oh, the Cougars are leading it. Highest 16, 5. Margin, well, that was, uh, I guess they take it off every period, so. <laughs> That was just for the second quarter. And also they're gonna play ten more minutes, so we'll see where we're at here. Doesn't look like they're taking any kind of a break. Obviously they didn't have much time, just enough time to get over to the other side here. So I don't know if we're uh, in the fourth period, uh, what the situation is. I do know they put the scoreboard back to zero. They put 10 minutes on the clock, so they're treating this like a scrimmage. We'll hang on to the camera with one hand, and they got our rosters with the other. Let's see. Number 13 for the Cougars. Uh, well, once you know it, I don't have a 13 for the Cougars. From the last time they played. In fact, uh, the numbers on the floor and the numbers I have in my uh, book must be they have different away and home jerseys. That's about all I can do with the Cougar side is uh, tell you the names and the numbers I had when they played at Northeastern. So we'll start with Pla with the Pla with the Shay Z here, and off the rim. Uh, Elijah Keys is number four. Or Kais, I guess. Kais, number four. Ten, Parker Pratt. Jeremy Juno, 12. Chase Dickerson, 15. Dylan McAfee, 20. Evan Dwyer, 22. Uh, 23 is Brady Therrien, 25 is uh, John Martin, or Zane Stevens. I'm not sure what that's all about. But I have them both written there and 25. Uh, Landon Salamando, 32. Harry West, 33. Cole Ross, 40. Zane Stevens, uh, 30. Landon Castine, 55. And we have subs coming in. The names I have for the Cougars for Dalton Castine's squad. And I seem to remember there was <laughs> problems with the numbers at Northeastern. They might have had the away numbers and so uh, I can give you the names and uh, don't really know what numbers they are, unfortunately. Like I said, we had something important going on, so we weren't able to get here for the 5.30 start. The Cougar names are Alex Sutterbutt, Austin Dubuque, Jordan Brown, who uh, is injured, uh, Parker Roach, Kyle Marshall, Evan Manor, Josh Sisko, Aiden Dominic, 
uh, Grady Billiter, Evan McGillan, uh, Stephen Garrow, or Stephen Garrow, and Owen Timmons. Those are the names we have. Let's see, there's three, six, plus uh, Brown on the bench. So that'd be 15 or 12, or, no, excuse me, 12 players, 11, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. I got enough, more than enough names. Time out. It's 6 nothing on a scoreboard. Cougars. Ola Parker's here. He's coming to watch Parker Pratt play, I'm sure. time with that 10 minutes so clock keeps ticking right now heads up incoming cougar ball ball 444 and counting Eagles take it away coming out so it looks like they're ready to go so well, this might be the last period it's only 607 so with a 530 start they really moved right along well, I don't know if they'll play another period or not we'll find out in about three and a half minutes That would have been that would have been red ball. What is he doing trying to save it? <laughs> All you do is let that go out of bounds. It would have been his team's ball. Now this is what they're supposed to do here at Modified Learn. Through 251 to go. Oh. All right, Cougar foul shot. Clock is stopped on the foul shots. No shot clock, so they can work it around.
minute and a half to go in the, in the fourth. Eight nothing on the scoreboard. No foul. Under a minute now. Over basket. Here's a pressing. This is being treated like a scrimmage, so they're they're treating it like a scrimmage and, and pressing even with a big lead. Sub in for the Cougars, clock ticking down to 24 seconds. Ten seconds. We'll just take it away. Over and back, that'll do it. Or carry, prove me a carry. And let's see if it'll wrap it up. Or go to a fifth period. And what are they gonna do? Looks like they're talking about it. Be up to the refs. Gonna be up to the refs. Looks like we're coming back for more. So they're gonna play another period, but gonna make it an eight-minute period. just kept squirting away from him. Couldn't ever quite catch up with it. We've all had experiences like that. is still ticking even though it's just eight minutes on the clock. That'll stop the clock, I thought. As soon as they learn it's a shooting foul, it should stop the clock. There it is, 5.50. Ninth dinner. Four point play. Three nothing. Oh, 
Watching Modified Boys, Northeastern at Shazy from, I haven't even mentioned the date, February 4th, 2019. We arrived late and thought we'd be here for the end of the first half. It turns out we were here for the last minute of the third period. So with no halftime, we were not able to get the different numbers for the Cougars. Their home and away are, some are the same, I'm sure, but uh, most of them are different. So not even gonna speculate on who's out there. We have the Shay-Z names and numbers. Cougars take it away. Nice bounce pass. Hit, <laughs> hit the bottom of the backboard. behind his head for that one. Ended up stepping out of bounds. Backwards. Three thirty-six to go. For three. New. Nothing to it. Good Shay Z on the scoreboard here in the fifth period. Whoa, it's going to get into one of those games. Huh? How about that? A three pointer. Continues to tick. Subs coming in. Steal. Layup. Oh, go to the side, use the backboard. Go to the side, use the backboard. Movement. Cougar is giving the Eagles just one shot. Fifty seconds and ticking. Steal. 
thought the ball was heading this way. That one just enough oomph to get it in. No double dribble. Fourteen seconds. That'll do it. Well, that's the fifth period. Well, that'll be the way it was on this fourth day of February, 2019. You're watching viewer-supported local television, hometown cable. If you're watching this, you're a viewer, and even when we late, really arrive late, we expect viewer support. Only place you're going to find this kind of programming and uh, we're going to be completing our 36th year this summer. Thanks for watching.